Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to cover procurement service management and the new PSM workspace. That's right. So procurement service management comes with its own workspace to get to all the different things that you might want to manage. We're actually looking at a, a dashboard for procurement service management behind me. Uh, we'll get to that in another demo. This one, we're going to focus on the workspace. So here you see in my workspace menu, remember use that menu if you want to stay within the same browser tab. Um, the PSM agent workspace that'll open up. I'm logged in as Warren. He's like kind of a demo persona, but you see initially we've got that dashboard. It's typical of all workspaces. You can see his latest open request overdue to do's um, candidates for procurement requests merging in the middle there. We've got a nice bar graph for requests by type. Um, and then down below, he's got his purchasing to do's and then kind of just to the left of my head, there's some tasks there for uh, financial and contracts that he can all get he can get to. Now, I, most of the work for a procurement service person or analyst or agent is probably getting done here in these lists unless he clicks through on that dashboard I just showed you. But this will give you an idea, one, of what's going on in procurement service management. So here we've got some sourcing requests. Um, I can click on negotiations, um, those negotiations in progress, requisitions that are um, in progress or closed, and then purchasing tasks and procurement cases. Let's go ahead and open up a requisition so you can see what one looks like and the different pieces and parts and related lists that are making up requisition. Now, a requisition member is going to be someone making a purchasing request, whether that's from the shopping hub or from that landing page we showed in a different video. I'll put a link um, at the very top there of that video, but this is what it in general looks like. We've got the purchase requisition details, who's requested it, who's the business owner, um, what supplier are we using for this, um, what's the cost of it, estimated tax, all those accounting details you expect, notes that we can make, additional comments and work notes, right, that'll go be exposed in the portal. I've got my notes over here as well, just above my head. Um, any purchase lines would show up here, any approvals that would become need to happen for this purchase to take place any related procurement cases, any purchasing tasks. So this one's interesting. This one uh, got generated for finance to do a budget review. Um, so your procurement service agent can come in and say, hey, I need to send something uh, NDA for signature or a contract review, onboard a supplier. You can read the rest there. Um, but these are ad hoc tasks that they can make as part of their purchase requisition fulfillment. You can have SLAs or service level agreements associated with those requisitions and the contracts that are associated with that. So lots going on there on the requisition side. Let's scroll down here so you can see the rest of what's going on. Knowledge articles that might be related to procurement. You can get to these directly from the workspace. Any orders, any receipts and invoices. So if I wanted to look at all the invoices that are associated with the um, procurement, I can open up an invoice and see what that looks like. Here's one for Indeed. And uh, this particular one has got just the basic invoice information to expect, but we have lines for that actual invoice. So the um, 10, 60, and 15 uh, things awaiting for delivery, linked to a purchase order line, um, maybe an invoice task that might be associated with that. That's a demo fail, <laughs> display the list, um, but we'll get away from that real quick. Last thing I wanna show is uh, procurement cases back up here at the top. And that you might be wondering, well, what are you gonna do with all the, um, that's interesting. None of the procurement cases. Oh, because I'm in. Uh, I'm in looking at uh, Warren's work here, so he doesn't have any procurement cases assigned, assigned to him. So instead, what I should have clicked on to show you all the cases is down here. Everyone. So let's try that again. We'll click on procurement cases, and uh, so these could be general things that people need to do. So what I found helpful for me is if I came up here to the case type um, right here and actually said. Let me see this. Let me group by this one. I'm going to have to click the little ellipsis to do that. So we'll group by case type. And, and now I can see, oh, well, this is the kind of cases that can incur issue or create an RFP or an RFI. Um, that's actually one of the things you can request on the portal. Uh, onboard a vendor, request a corporate credit card, request a PC card, uh, or P purchasing card, sorry, not a PC card, or submit an invoice, right? So we could jump into any one of these. Let's go to request a corporate card. So here Able Tutor has requested a, a card, and we've got the different information about this particular case, um, the uh, description, the short description, the purchase details. You might relate a purchase order or something else associated with that any activity, and if there was uh, variables on the record producer that's on the portal, those could show up here as well. Any procurement case lines um, and any procurement task associated with it. And this is the same task thing we were looking at, um, but we can just create them ad hoc, um, maybe change this to something else or a different assignment group. Maybe you need someone to go look at something, but you can create tasks directly from that too. So 
that's pretty much it for the procurement service management uh, workspace piece. Um, in a future video, we'll also cover, cover some of those dashboards that I skipped by at the beginning. But uh, a nice work area to bring all the purchasing stuff into one workspace. Um, if you haven't already, go check out that other video where we show I show Shopping Hub on the Employee Center portal. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.